and welcome back to Nomregard's Journey. Uh, today we're going to continue in the steps, and uh, our first quest is uh, Sewing Descent. This is uh, from uh, the guy in Crescent Reach. Uh, we need to go over to the gnome area and take a item on the ground, uh, this runic trap. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where it spawns, but it's somewhere over here. <laughs> And then we need to then take that uh, trap over to the goblins and uh, kill a bunch of goblins with it. So let's uh, go ahead and start heading up that way. Uh, I did some more research. There's another quest line that uh, the wise guy we did a quest for. He has a follow-up quest called the library and another one after that called uh, repairing the portal. And it seems that those are for spawning a raid boss. <laughs> so I think that right over there you can spawn a raid boss. So that's uh, kind of interesting. Um, I don't, I don't know if I can kill it. Uh, like it's 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 like a level seventy or eighty raid boss. So I don't think it's gonna be killable by me anytime soon. But have to uh, see if we can. Uh, we can't kill it we, we can uh, do something with it all right I think it's more further north I just want to make sure I'm not gonna aggro anything that one's indifferent let's put her on passive so we can uh, So that sharpshooter can see me. And that shaman can see me. Uh, do we, don't we have like perfected invisibility or something like that? Shadow of death. Uh, what does this one do? That's an is undead. Skin of shadow. Maybe. No, I can still see through that. What about this guy? Okay, he can't see us. Neither can that guy. I can't. So it's just like totally arbitrary, I guess, if they can see us. Alright, I don't see... Is that it? That's something. <laughs> Let's see what that is. Uh, that was a rune goal. No, rune trap. Okay, that's exactly what we needed. So we need to steal the runic trap and set it in the goblin camp. So let's go do that. And then we just gotta run over there and uh, trigger that. And then, uh, I'm not sure after that if there's anything else we'll be able to do. I think there's the the null version of the Goblin Quest we did last episode. Uh, that's another task. This one's a, also a task, so we can only grab one at one, one at a time. So we'll have to see how that, uh, <laughs> that plays out. If this is as simple as just uh, setting this trap down and killing some goblins. All right, it looks like we are inside the camp. All right, so this is going to be tricky. So she's on passive. He's not going to do anything. You're not within the goblin camp. All right. <laughs> I feel this is risky. All right. 
it's working. All right, tell him uh, now we need to return to him. All right, uh, let's go ahead and feign death, these guys. And we're gonna have to origin back to him. That was actually kind of easy. All things considered, right? I mean, <laughs> didn't really have to do much for that quest. So let's see if we can uh, origin out. That guy is like running right for us, and he's got friends. Let's see if we can get out of here. And it looks like we did. All right, we are back at uh, Warden Jakar. So let's go into hell. All right, so we got a new primary. And it gives a root only for <laughs> gnolls. That is, that is useless. Uh, let's see here. It's a primary secondary, so I don't think it's an upgrade. I have a fabled hammer of wind from uh, Bastion of Thunder, I believe. So I don't think anything's better than that at this level. So is it better than the shield? It could be better than the shield. Ah, it doesn't have the HP regen. It's only twelve. Well, it's more hit points, but not worth it all right so let's go ahead and grab the next quest any enemies uh gnolls i'm gonna decline that and then help oh i already have the uh this quest i need to quit it and then help again and then sweeping the steps gnolls this is the one we don't have which is 20. All right, so this one's kill the Knoll Defenders. Kill. Okay, so this is going to be the same kind of thing. They're going to send seven of us at us, though, I guess. Uh, after we kill 20 of them. So let's go ahead and gate back. Alrighty, we are on the last one. <laughs> Uh, hopefully this uh, isn't bad. I was the other ones so like uh, the the fenders. It was there was a uh, what was it like four to kill four defenders. They uh, they spawned on me at every interval. So at five kills I got one, and then at ten kills I got two more. So. I don't know what to expect for the elite null forces, except probably dying. Uh, let's put you back in action. There we go. And let's get that going. There we go. I want to get him further away from all these so we can go back over there. I'm assuming we're going to have to feign death again and uh, avoid whatever nonsense is going to come at us. There we go. I want to get keep this rune up as much as I can. I'm going to move her back to passive so she doesn't heal me during this. I don't want the pet to die though, so I'm going to gonna life tap this thing. There we go. All right. So the pet is on uh, G hold, so he's not going to attack and I, I try not to get her to attack. So this is going to be yeah, that's what I thought it would be.
That is uh, not a fair, <laughs> not a fair fight, in my opinion. Um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to. Uh... There we go. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know how that's a fair fight <laughs> for a solo player when they spawn right on top of you like that. Running at uh, breakneck speeds. Like, if I send the pet at him, the pet's gonna die, like, really quick. And I have her in passive mode, so I'm gonna have to switch that. Now, I might be able to stand up and uh, invis really quick since I can outrun them at the moment. So let's try that. Nope, didn't work. One of them got off me though. And here, let's do this. Kind of heal ourselves. Oh, he stunned me again. Just need to get further, far enough away that I can snare one of them. There's one snared. I'll send the pet at one of these. Put her in active mode. Are they all snared? There we go. They're all snared now. And they killed the pet, but that's not a big concern. So we're going to have to kite these guys around. Hopefully she's smart enough to like run away. But I guess not. There we go. So she should uh, be able to do that. Oh my gosh, these, <laughs> this, is, this is like an unfair uh, fight. There we go. That one's good. Let's swarm with decay. These are archers, I believe, so they should, uh... Should be good there. Let's reroute this guy before he breaks. And he broke here attacking the mercenary gotta resnare him gonna resnare them all real quick actually let's life tap him so I don't think I have any damage on him right now there we go perfect and we dot this one. There we go. One down. Oh, jeez. I forget to uh, snare this one. I did. All right. Let's see here. Pet. See if we can make another pet real quick. Get this one going. Go. All right, he's rooted. 
that one's gonna die. This one over here should die. Oh, that one's gonna die first. Come on. There we go. Go kill it. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get the pet haste out real quick. Wow, that was a uh, that was a intense fight. And we need to go back to uh, Crescent Reach. So let's do that real quick. That was uh, that was a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Okay, we're back at Warden Dakar, and we can inform him of the great news. And we got a a uh, weapon we can't use from that, but that's fine. Oh, and we got uh. What is this? Oh, we got, um, this is what this is. Uh, this, we finished the conquering steps, uh, achievement. So we get the, uh, the stuff. So we get either a shield, which looks kind of nice, or we can go with this spear, which is 19 int, or we can go with the mace, which is 18 int. Uh, that's 63 hit points, 57, oh, 76 hit points. So let's go with the spear. And, uh, oh, there's options here. There was options that we can't use, so that's hilarious. Um, can't, tri no more tributable, so let's go with, uh, this one. All right, so we got a shield, intricate consigned shield. We have a flawed, so that's an upgrade. We just have to take out the uh, the uh, aug in that one, and then we got. I don't think this the weapon is an upgrade. No, it is not. So that's unfortunate, but the shield looks cooler. So that is that, and that is, uh, here, let's pull up the achievements, uh, let's see here, I turned off complete, and I was, why was I there, I was, it's up here, Hero's Journey Progression, right there, we conquered the steps, we still haven't ascended the roost, because we haven't killed, we can't kill the queen yet. So that's that. We're done with uh, the steps, in my opinion, for right now. We'll have to come back later. Uh, we're going to need a group of three to... Where is it at here? No, it's that one. So the treasure of the dead requires a group of three to start the quest. Um, and these other ones require uh, tasks. So I can't even complete that unless I have a group of three. So I don't, I don't have... Uh, I don't have my characters in the zone. I don't really want to deal with that one right now. I'd rather just move on to the next one. Uh, the rebuilding the portal is also a uh, raid quest. This last one spawns a raid boss. I don't know if you have to kill it for this, but um, it's kind of involved, as in you have to go to uh, Icefall Glacier and Valdholm to actually even complete those quests. So we'll come back to those when we are in, uh, we get to those zones. Uh, so the next zone, yeah, that's just telling us to do that. I guess the next zone is Sunder Rock. And that's, uh, <laughs> I don't even know where that zone is. <laughs> and let's see if we can find it on here. So there's Mesa Steps, Sunder Rock. All right, I have never, I don't think I've ever been in here, so this will be an interesting zone when we get to it. Uh, looks like there's a bunch of stuff, and it goes up to Direwin Cliffs and Bergagald Mines. I think that's one of the next ones after this one, too. Yeah, Berg, Ber, uh, Bergalid Mines, I guess. That's a whole zone in its own, so... That is the direction we're heading. So Sunder Rock, the mines, and then uh, Buried Sea and Dragonscale Hills. I've I've been to Dragonscale Hills before, and don't I think I've been here for a daily quest on my other characters, but yeah. So that's 
kind of the direction we're heading <laughs> and uh yeah so uh i don't there might be a little i might level up a little bit in between episodes and i might even uh level up a mage to uh help with some of these kill quests they're uh just kind of tedious so it's I, i'd rather just have like a little bit of help with those uh i'm not gonna do the hero's journey on more than one character that's that's totally insane but so that's where we're heading to next uh and then we'll we'll circle back around uh at some point to uh kill the queen and the other things when uh when i can get my other characters lined up to uh do that but uh thank you very much for watching and have a great day